Yo, what up guys? Welcome back to Sneaker Stories. As always, I'm your host, Chris Jack. I'm incredibly excited. I don't know if you can see, because this morning, out of nowhere, well, seemingly out of nowhere, the Cloud 350 V2 reflectives dropped here in South Africa. Now, we didn't really know if we were getting reflectives here in South Africa or not, but today, just boom, out of nowhere. Complete shock drop. Literally was standing at the vet with my cat this morning. He's fine, don't worry. Uh, and uh, saw this post from Shelf Life, uh, here in Cape Town and in Johannesburg, they've dropped them in store and on adidas.ca.ca online, a couple of pairs there. And then last but not least, the Santon Original Store up in Johannesburg. So literally right afterwards, I think I got to Shelf Life at around quarter to 10. Um, they had released at 9.30 and still managed to get my size. So here we are, they are absolutely unbelievable in hand. So without further ado, let's check them out. All right, so as mentioned, we weren't entirely sure that we were gonna be getting the reflective pair here in South Africa. Uh, the previous reflectives have been exclusive to certain stores here around the country, uh, generally one store in a different city uh, each time. So it was really awesome to see Adidas be able to kind of spread this shoe around the country, giving everyone a pretty equal chance to be able to get them, uh, and also just kind of seemingly out of nowhere. Uh, so yeah, it was kind of, again, right place, right time, uh, whether you were able to cop this pair or not. Now that said, there is the standard version of the Cloud 350 V2 releasing on Saturday, the 21st of September. Uh, so if you didn't get lucky on this particular pair, there is another opportunity to get the same colorway, just without the reflective knit uh, in the upper of the shoe, of course, this coming Saturday. All right, so first thoughts on this, uh, absolutely love it. I think it definitely is one of the better colorways to drop from the 350 range, uh, at least this year. Um, and just immediately, one thing that just, absolutely melts my heart Aww. is the removal of that heel tab and i know it's happened on the synth here as well and i haven't even reviewed the synth because i kind of got a little bit bored about doing reviews of all these different 350s especially when there were so many of them coming out all the time uh so i kind of kind of just park them for a little bit until i get around because there's more exciting things to talk about at the moment but this this is this is very exciting so top of the list let's check it out starting with the outsole of the shoe uh, you do have a semi-translucent rubber outsole with those cutouts there for the boost underneath in the midsole but obviously and as i'm sure most of you guys will know right now full length boost midsole encapsulated in this rubber translucent outsole uh, on all 350 and then moving up into the upper this is where things get really interesting they've kind of changed up the prime knit here it's almost like a mismatch or mix match of different prime knit patterns that have been put into this 350 and you can definitely see that quite clearly with the reflective pair as they've only really applied the uh, reflective 3m knit through different panels of the upper of the shoe so to give you a little bit of a comparison and i'll just use the static because this is a shoe that a lot of people just by photos uh, kind of thought that they were very very similar i can say they obviously are quite similar in hand but the coloring that you're getting on the cloud pair is definitely a little bit more minty green in some places and then kind of similar to what you'd get in the blue tint which is over here so this is the one i kind of show you against coloring uh, this is obviously a little bit darker, but for me, the kind of bluey tint that you get from the blue tint is very similar to what you're getting in the clouds. So I know it's gonna be hard to pick it up on camera, but just know that there is a little bit of green in this panel up here, and then below it is kind of more of a blue coloring as well. But to go back to the static again quickly, and just to show you the difference in the paneling, you'll notice this top panel up here is completely plain. It's almost like a different colorway. Um, whereas on the static pair, you also have that continuous static pattern, which is present throughout the upper of the shoe. Here, it's kind of this awesome change up. The laces of the shoes are done in this minty green color. It's, it's very difficult to tell you what the color is because it's kind of minty green to some and kind of blue to others, but it's, it's somewhere in the middle of green and blue, if that makes sense. And then swinging around to the heel section of the shoe, that plain pattern really rolls through here. It's almost a white by the time you get to the heel. Uh, and obviously, most notably, you don't have that heel tab anymore, which is definitely one of my favorite uh, features all the way since the Beluga uh, V1 over here. Um, it's something that I've been missing on the 350. For me, it just makes the shoe a hell of a lot cleaner on foot. Um, and yeah, obviously the synth and some of the other colorways that are coming out now do not have that. 
so yeah, that's a real big bonus for me. I don't know how you guys feel on it, but you can let me know in the comments. And just to show you the insole, the coloring on here is kept completely tonal, also in that greeny blue color, same color as the laces, uh, with the Adidas and Yeezy branding on there, of course. But that essentially is all there is to the Yeezy 350 V2 Cloud a reflective pair. Now, if you do want to get a pair of the reflective, unfortunately, you're going to have to look to the resale market. Uh, if you are watching this from anywhere outside of South Africa, as far as I understand, they haven't released these in all territories yet, so you might still be able to get lucky. But then again, as mentioned earlier in the review, uh, you still have a chance to get the standard version of the 350 V2 Cloud on Saturday, the 21st of September at all participating retailers and adidas.co.za uh, original stores here locally and of course, shelf life as well. From a sizing perspective, it is pretty common knowledge now to take a half size up in the 350 V2s. Uh, that is pretty much the safest option for you because it can get a little tight in the toe box But that said for me going true to size is absolutely perfect So whichever size you're able to get your hands on whether it's a half up or just true to size is perfectly fine in my opinion But absolutely if you do have an opportunity to try a 350 v2 uh, on whether it's any colorway the sizing pretty much remains consistent throughout so uh, you'll be able to find your size based off that. From a price perspective, there was a little bit of confusion here in South Africa uh, today because uh, Adidas was selling them at 3499 and then Shelf Life was selling them at 3999. Uh, as far as I know, the correct pricing for this was actually 3999 as we've seen in previous reflective releases. So yeah, if you did manage to cop these on adidas.co.za this morning, you pretty much scored. But yeah, that's it for this review of the 350 Cloud Reflective. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you do have any further questions, if anything I've missed out, please drop them in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Otherwise, please give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe right here and I'll catch you on the next one.